What's up guys? So we're here at the LS run stand out back and we're going to do an install today. So the point of this video is to kind of give a behind the scenes on what it takes to actually install a jackpot TBI system. So the reason we came out with this system a while back is because we had customers uh, giving us some suggestions. And so we took those suggestions and made something happen for you. But they wanted to keep that classic look on an LS engine in their classic muscle car. So this is the kit for you. So we're going to go through this install today and, and give you a little tips and tricks on how to how to have a successful install. All right. So when doing something like this, we've actually got the top end kit. So we offer this uh, sweet intake right here, 4150 style flange. It's for uh, Cathedral Port. And um, we're going to go ahead and give you guys a rundown of what it takes to kind of get it ready to go on the engine. So it comes with a little bag here. And you've got your uh, gaskets and your hardware and things like that. And I like to start here, get all this squared away, and then move over to the engine. It kind of just makes it a little more efficient. So. You open the bag here. So we got the gaskets. And these actually go in here. I like to use a little bit of white lithium grease to keep it from potentially ripping these. So we'll go over that. And then like I said, we've got our hardware. So we've got some washers for these bolts. And we've got our bolts here. Another important thing um, to note here with these you've got some long ones and you've got some short ones so see the difference there so on this intake in particular we've got different heights on the mounting so this one's here a little bit lower and this one here is a little bit taller so you got those longer bolts that's where that's going to go so little minor things like that are just things to keep an eye out for um, and I think they're helpful tips. So we're going to go ahead and flip this thing over and get these gaskets installed. So like I said, I like to use a little bit of white lithium grease. Nothing crazy. Um, and there's multiple ways to do it. But essentially, at the end of this, you're going to want this gasket to just be in this recessed part of the intake right here. So just a little bit goes a long way but you can just fill it up right there almost like the old lady at food city writing happy birthday on a cake you know what i mean just it's a good time and then you just work it in there's going to be a little bit of extra i mean you just wipe that off but this is just going to help it kind of stay in place and a little bit of lubricant honestly so yeah plenty of extra just wipe it off the best you can don't make a mess like me and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do all eight of these and we'll be right back with you All right, so we got the intake ready. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on the engine here and start bolting it down. So, it's actually surprisingly light. <laughs> Get the bolt holes lined up here. Sweet. So we got the intake bolted down and went ahead and put the throttle body on top. This thing looks pretty sweet. So just wanted to cover 
what the normal throttle body comes like is it's got the AN fittings over here. We went ahead and reconfigured the fuel system just to accommodate for the bypass return that we've got on the run stand and just make it a little bit nicer over here. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the wiring harness. So this harness is a little bit different than like your standard jackpot because you've got the throttle body. So it's got the PIC connector. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, and walk through that and just get a little bit into the details of it and show you what it looks like putting it on the run stand. So it may look a little different than putting it on a car or your specific build, just because some of this stuff is already laid out. We've got a bunch of relays back here. So we've got good voltage. We've already got some of that taken care of. But as far as getting into, you know, what's different about this system, why you would be looking at this particular system, I think this will help. So let's get into the wiring harness. All right, so we're gonna start with the main harness here. Um, it looks pretty similar to the regular jackpot, uh, aside from, where is it at? Throttle body. So this right here is obviously gonna to go to the TBI. So this system here, still capable of doing transmission control, 24X, 58X, all that good stuff. So that's a little bit of the differences here on this. We also, as I'm looking through the wires, this one only has a one wideband O2 sensor. So you're running on one bank, the same as you would on like a kill shot or Royal Flush, things like that. Since it's a TBI, there's really no need for bank to bank O2 sensor data because of the way that the fuel's going down in the intake and everything like that. So those are the main differences on the main harness for the jackpot TBI. So you still get all of your sub harnesses that you would in a regular jackpot kit. You've got your additional wires here. You get your coil wires with the grounds on them, cool. 58 and 24X, you get your knock sensors and your transmission sub harness. So that's all that's included as far as like what comes in the bag, the bag right here. And, you know, you may not, you may not use all this stuff. You know, you may not be running transmission control, but it's good to know that this system is capable of it as well. So let's go ahead and start plugging things in and getting wires ran and we'll get back to it. So we're at the point now, we've got our HD handheld, the new handheld hooked up, and we're gonna go ahead and run the wizard. So you hear the fuel system coming on, so that's good. Don't have any fuel leaks here, so that's a plus. Jackpot ECU is on, we connected. So we're just gonna go through the wizard. So we're gonna do uh, American Freedom units here. I like Lambda, so we're gonna go with that. GMLS, this is a 58X. And we've got a mild cam in here. We're going to do custom AB on the map type for this. One wide band sensor. No drive-by wire. No transmission control. There's no transmission hooked up. Four injectors. 100 pound an hour injectors. And it is a 323. So let's click on that and just do it this way instead. Awesome. And there's a firing order. You see on the HD handheld, you got like a little roll index thing. 750. That sounds good. Yes, we're going to save it. Cool. Now let me go verify that all my connections are hooked up. And we'll go. 
ahead and start it. We got wide band, knock sensor, cam and crank, ignition, oil pressure, throttle, coolant temp. Yes. Okay. Everything's hooked up. So this is first startup off the wizard. We'll see how it does. So it needs a little bit of fuel prime. Nothing too crazy there. For first startup, that was not bad. This is the first time this engine has been started today. Okay, so that was the install video of this jackpot TBI. This is available on the website. Um, part of the reason that you get this, like I said in the beginning, is if you want the classic look on your LS engine, I think it looks pretty sweet. I know you guys heard it in the video. It's very snappy. That was the first startup on this engine today, um, as right after the install. Uh, pretty straightforward. So we just wanted to give you guys some information and a little bit of a how-to on installing this system if you get this system and you may have some questions you know you can revert back to this video and hopefully it helps you out so with that being said jackpot tbi pretty awesome system we'll see y'all next time